Hey, welcome back to the Corvette Posse channel. So today is another uh, gorgeous day here in Arkansas. Um, honest to goodness, there's been so much rain. Uh, we've never been able to get these cars out at all. So actually, Patrick, I was over at Patrick's, uh, or Patrick was over at my house a week or so ago and had the car up on the lift and he noticed that I have, I don't know if you can see this very well, but we've got some tread, uh, we've got some cords showing on the inside of the wheels there. So. Uh, thankfully he was there and he saw that and uh, pointed it out because I hadn't really noticed it but it's really interesting especially when I got the uh, the neutral balance of the neutral alignment on the car I'm not really sure why it's wearing out that hard but you know it is uh, so 13,900 miles oh by the way Patrick 13,900 miles and a set of $2,000 tires that's not really great but you know I don't think they owe me much because I got a track day couple autocross lots of mountain driving they've they've been uh, they've been effectively abused but um, so the new tires came in we'll talk about those uh, after I get them put on but uh, Patrick I, there's only one way really to send these tires off properly don't you think yeah I agree I think we need to do a big old burnout uh, yeah so I think we need to go to the spot we'll uh, we'll meet you at the spot Okay, so got my new tires, got the mounted, balanced, everything ready to go, and what I decided to go with, um, hopefully I don't get skewered by this, but I decided to go with the uh, Pilot Sport AS3s, um, rather than replacing the original uh, Pilot Super Sports. Pilot Super Sports were great, um, I mean they were a, they were an awesome tire, but I got like 13,900 miles on them and they were just, they wore out, I mean they were getting down to the wear marks but the uh the the core showing on the inside was the was the most alarming thing and actually is on the two fronts uh, both fronts had it and one of the uh one of the rears had it also so um well so i decided to go with the uh the all the uh the all season tires uh, for a couple of reasons one i don't this car doesn't want to track a lot obviously i tracked it quite a bit um well not quite a bit you know i tracked it a fair amount um, with the first with the first set of tires but that's why i have the c6 so i won't be tracking this car as much so the plan was to go with something that was a little better um, for you know, for long distance. Uh, I'll be hopefully some more wear. If you can see or not, the uh, the tire the tires got quite a bit more. I should turn this out. Tires got quite a bit more tread depth in it than the than the Super Sports did. Probably a little harder, I'm sure. I probably won't get near the traction performance, but uh, we'll go see. We're gonna go for a drive. We'll check it out, and I'll, uh, I'll report back on that. But yep, I decided to change it out and go with the uh, all-season tires we'll see how this goes i like the looks of them they look okay and uh you know we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna go for, we'll go for a drive real quick i'll give you my driving impressions of them and then i've got uh something else that is not so good that i just found out while i was at the tire shop so we'll uh we'll come back on that a little bit later okay so i know they're not as soft as the super sports but uh you know, so it'd be interesting to see on on track. You know, obviously the wear better, but interesting to see how they handle on track. We'll uh, turn it around here. We'll go ahead and give this a shot and see just from a dead stop, see how it how it does. I mean, obviously this isn't a test of anything, but just to see, you know, make sure it still has decent traction for it. But um, all in all, you know, I I'm pretty happy. I was a little skeptical of going with these tires, but uh, all in all, pretty happy with them. I think they're going to be okay. Uh, certainly are going to handle better. So it was a little squirrely, but you know the tires should also be kind of cold if they haven't driven much. So, like I said, we'll be able to get a better a better read on these things after a bit. Let's see here. This corner here appears pretty decent. We'll give this a shot and see how it uh, how it does. Like I said, we'll have to. I gotta get some heat in these things, and we'll uh, we'll certainly 
run them uh, run them in the mountains but looking for some better wear for sure uh, hopefully I can get more than 13,900 miles out of them but uh, but yeah no I think we're, uh, we're in good shape okay so got back from the drive drive went okay uh, here's the tire um, the profile of it so yeah it's got it's got fairly decent tread wear or you know depth tread depth anyway so good looking tire I think it looks all right so we'll we'll see how that we'll see how they perform obviously when I get on the road and do some long distance travels we'll uh, we'll see how it goes with it so here's the bad news here's what I learned uh, while I was at the tire shop so I asked the guys when the, they had the tires off I said hey would you take a look at the rims and see if they've got any cracks on them and I asked them to look really on the inside of the barrel inside barrel of the tires to look and on my right rear so not this one but you know, this one over here you can't really see it I'll have to get it up on a rack or something we can check it out when I get up on a rack but uh, on the right rear I've got a hairline crack um, and it goes you know from the edge of the barrel from the edge of the edge of the barrel I guess I'd say all the way up in about an inch so it's a two or three inch two or three inch crack on the barrel so something I've been looking at looking for on this car um, for quite a while and obviously now has bitten me um, GM to my knowledge has not uh, acknowledged this as a problem as a defect because it is a defect because um, I've not hit any potholes had I hit potholes I've hit potholes in other cars before and actually I've ruined tires ruined rims from potholes you know but the sidewall the tire didn't bulge there's no other damage to the rim at all just this hairline fracture goes in there so I, I would argue that with everybody else that's had this problem it is a defect uh, GM is not acknowledging it. they won't own it to it to the fact that they use probably some uh, you know not the best materials so I'm gonna call the GM dealer tomorrow uh, there is a a uh, a law firm that has done a class action suit. I'm not big on joining class action lawsuits, but you know, this is just ridiculous. Um, that you know, you, you spend this much money for a car, and this is what you get out of it. You know, 13,000 miles, and I've got a cracked rim with no ob other obvious damage. So, um, anyway, sorry, off my soapbox, but that's my bad news. So, we got to, uh, we're gonna be looking for a new rim. I will probably, I don't know, I will probably go with, I'll probably try to find another GM rim. I'm not sure if I'll buy a new one. I'll probably see if I can try to find a used one, actually, because um, I may try to find a different rim. I may go with a forged this time. I'm not sure, uh, but I don't really spend money on a set of forged rims right now, unless somebody wants to uh, you know, sponsor us, and you know, we'll gladly gladly plug some uh, forged rims. But I don't think that's very likely. So we'll, we'll probably look for a stock rim to replace what was on here, and. I'll probably start saving up for a set of forged rims on this car. So, all right, well, there you go. So, replace the replace the tires. Found I got to replace a wheel. Um, but I'm happy with the tires. I think the tires will be okay. Like I said, we'll report, we'll, we'll report back on that as time goes on. Um, I think I will. I've, 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 you know, we've had, I've had other folks get these tires and have enjoyed them and thought they've been very good. So, we'll, uh, we'll certainly report back on that. But um, a little disappointed in the wheel. Uh, certainly disappointed in GM and their handling of this. But... You know, um, I guess this is the way it is, big corporation. So, all right. Well, hey, thank you for watching. Hope you like this. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. And we will talk to you next time. Thanks and have a great day.